Hey guys and welcome back to the railway and today we'll be doing a review on the old Hornby um, Pug Ofo locomotive. Um, I am planning on getting one of the newer ones. When I get one I do not know. So as you can tell it's the old Hornby packaging so this polystyrene block inside. So there's not much on the box, what's a shame. Its code is Romeo 3024 BR Pug 041240. And you do get a nice little line drawing of the side view of the locomotive there. That's very, very nice. So let's get into it. So I'm just gonna Open it up. I've opened it the right way. Lovely. Right, so we do get some jump with this. So, let's have a quick look at this. So, we do get an operation and maintenance manual, one of the older types. So, introduction, routine maintenance, track cleaning, locomotive. Bodywork, transfers, lubrication, running hints. Yeah, and it does show you how to take the body apart to get to the motor. And what not. But then you've also got motor, chassis, spare parts, and services, and safety notice to parents. And we've also got a little bag of bits by the looks of it. What have we got here? Ooh. So it looks like we've got a, um, a driver pointing his hand and pointing his finger. Um, it looks like he's telling someone off. Uh, we've got some discs and... Um, that's really surprising for an old model. We've got a bunch of lamps. I like that a lot. I might have to um, paint them at some point. I didn't even know this model had these. Right, I might have to do some painting with them and um, do them up really, really nicely. Well, that's surprising for a railroad model like this. I'm guessing this was classed as a railroad model. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Actually, detail on my part is going 10 out of 10, I think, for accessories. Sorry about my arm being in the way, guys. So, it's been a long time since we've had a, um, a packaging like this. So, I've had this one um, quite a while, I think about two, three years, and just never really got around to doing the review on it. Um, I think the other review I did was um, on my pug that is um, the motor's blown in it so I've got to replace the motor on that. Um, but yeah this is the other one that I bought. I am planning on getting the um, LMS version so that'd be nice to see. Um, so here she is in her pride and joy and she looks really really nice. Yeah she's Obviously an older model than the rest, so we've got to bear that in mind. Um, but it is just an absolute... I do like these little pug locomotives. They are cute. Um, so, we got this lovely rivet work all the way along the saddles here. Rivets on the roof, so there's loads and loads and loads of rivet detail on this locomotive. Got this lovely uh, crest here. And the application of the numbers. You got quite a bit of um, under saddle detail there for such an old model. You got your reversers, all different valves, um, springs. You've got a lovely little, um, lovely little LMS builders plate there. Separately fit handrails. Is that dark? 
molded. Yep, the dart is molded. Unfortunately, you got a uh, your numbers and shed plates there as well. We've got a lot more riveting. You got um, wooden square buffers. Well, they're meant to be wooden, but the plastic. Um, you got uh, one of the Hornby main line couplings. I don't think that's the big big ones. So. No, that's not too bad, I can live with that. Got these teeny tiny wheels. <laughs> and then the cab. Obviously the cab doesn't have much detailing. Um, it is pretty much the motor right there. And they try and hide it with this. Um, but what's a shame really, I think like with the size of the packet and what they've done with a Wickham trolley, in the past, I think um, Hornby need to step up their pug and somehow put the motor actually in here now and do a really, really nice cab detailed pug, I think. I think that'd be really, really nice. You do get the nice glazing though in the back and some like step ups. I don't even think they're brackets. Um, not too sure. Um, so. Yeah, it'd be nice if Hornby do a, a proper pug, so it's like um, all detailed in the cab. That'd be quite nice to see. Um, instead of looking at an eyesore of a motor. So, as we've had a quick look. So, the top of the locomotive, you can tell you've got your domes, you got your water tank, you've got your whistles here, and your chimney. What are very, very, very nice, <clears throat> and I can't wait to get an LMS one. I think they're really going for like 60 something pounds. I think the new ones, and they do come in the new block of ice packaging, so that'd be quite nice to see. Um, but yeah, absolutely, really, really nice model. They do run a bit fast and a bit noisy, but I quite like them. Um, so we'll get her onto the track and we'll see how she performs so here we are over at the layout with um the pug on the track now um she does have uh, i did forget to say in the little review on the studio bit but she has got quite a bit of weight to her um so she is capable of pulling quite a load um so let's see how she runs. We'll put her in backwards first. So she is a bit noisy. But for an older model, you cannot fault that crawl though. That's, a, that's amazing for an older model. I didn't actually think she could crawl that well, but I've been mistaken. Points, I think, is a problem for this. I think. I can't really remember. So I'll do, I'll go get her hooked up to a train. Well, it's part of this side, but the front is, that's the other side of the layout. But it'll give us a nice little opportunity to um, see how she performs over points so she has to cross about three i think slower speed yeah so you gotta go a bit quick over points um she's one of my latte spoons to get her moving sees me bending all the way across the layout <laughs> she's probably gonna get stopped again oh no she made it across that one so We'll see how the couplings perform. So I've got a, oh, just zoom out. So I've got a, a little coal train here and a little um, Midland one air pulling uh, my Midland, um, my Maroon saloon. So he's coming in now. Let's see how well the couplings perform. Lovely. So let's get these guys. Let's 
get these guys running around and we'll get a couple of shots for you guys. Them running around and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. And there we have it, the review on the Hornby Pug 040 locomotive in BR Black. So we'll go straight into the scores then. So packaging, I've given it um, a 7 out of 10 because it is the old Hornby packaging. It is the polystyrene that likes to break bits of detail off. Um, the loco detail, I've given an 8 as well. Um, obviously it could be improved on you could have a separately fit dart NEM couplings etc etc and cab detail not the eyesore of a, of a motor 
Um, performance, I've given it an 8. Um, obviously, it does run quite well in slow speeds, but not over points. What's a shame? Because it is a shunty locomotive that was built to go over lots of points. Um, accessories, I've... Um, when I originally looked at this... Um, I think what I've got in my book is the old um, scores, so I'm kind of going off them in my head right now. Um, and I think this was off the really old one that I had, so it didn't come with much um, accessories. But I'm going to give this accessories instead of a 9, I'm giving it a 10. Just because those lamps were awesome, so I may have to borrow them and maybe put them in my yard on the ground somewhere. Um, so that'd be rather rather nice and yeah so we got a little train there um, so the overall scores I'm now giving it is a 9 instead of an 8 out of 10 because they are very 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 nice models indeed um, if you can DCC chip them well I'm guessing you can I bet this model perform even better um, but yeah, Hornby really need to sort that motor out. That's for now. Like, if that's the on like the newer model now, I'll be quite disappointed because the the Dodo's smaller than this. So surely they'll have some way to put a motor in here now. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. So. YouTube will then notify you when I upload a video so you don't miss an episode. Um, hope you guys are staying indoors, staying safe um, and trying to enjoy some family time. Um, and, I'll, and I hope my videos are keeping you guys entertained and we'll see you in the next one.